Good Saturday afternoon, CBBC, church family, YouTubers, Facebookers, all you out there. It's just so good to be with you this Saturday morning. Uh, it's a great day. It's beautiful outside. Like always, God has just been so good to us. He always is. And I'm just so happy to come to you. I'm Pastor Gabriel Valenzuela. I want to bring you our daily encouragement for the day. I've been reading my Bible this morning since about four this morning. Every Saturday, you already know I've been doing this the last three Saturdays or whatnot that I go to work very early. And so allows me some time to get up very early in the morning and just spend some time with God, some alone time with the Lord. I'm real thankful for that. And I was reading Proverbs chapter 13, and I want to give you something out of that. But first of all, let me just go ahead and say my COVID-19 positive for the day is that I will be able to preach in our church tomorrow on a Sunday. Praise God for that. I'm excited for that. And so because of that opportunity, I'm not going to be doing any recordings. And so because of that, it's going to make for a not so extremely busy Saturday. And I'm super grateful for that because of working from four in the morning till one in the afternoon and then continuing to do ministry. And I'm still going to be busy, but not as busy as I normally am. And I'm so grateful to God for that. And that is my COVID-19 positive for the day that things are still changing Things are still working out for the better and the things are moving in a better and positive direction. And so if you have a COVID-19 positive for the day, make sure you share that with us so that we can uh, be encouraged and just be uh, happy for you and excited for what God is doing in your life. Proverbs chapter 13 and verse number uh, 12, the Bible says here, Hope deferred make it the heart sick, but when the desire cometh, it is a tree of life. And so... Here's my question to you this morning. Have you ever hoped for something so long or whatever it is that you hoped for, that you've been hoping for, has been delayed for such a length of time that your mind becomes uneasy? You start to slip in hope. You start to lose that hope. Your heart sinks. It fails to the point where you become dispirited and you begin giving up all hope of enjoying that blessing. Many Christians go through that. Many people go through that where they are hoping for something to happen. And during this uh, time frame, a lot of us have lost hope because of things that we were hoping to see that didn't pan out due to the shutdown of COVID-19. Uh, I've mentioned it before in some of my previous messages, but my daughter was hoping that the volleyball season would still be able to continue or maybe it would be able to reopen in the summer, or maybe it would be open in the fall just to make up for it, and that uh, graduation would be able to be somehow made up, or that coronavirus would disappear altogether so that that way uh, weddings could be performed, or or uh, jobs could be re retrieved back, or school could resume. Whatever it is, we've all had a hope and we've all been waiting on something to happen. And COVID has put us in that state of mind where we're hoping for this or we're hoping for that. And for some of us, hope has been deferred. Some of us, hope has been deferred and it makes us sick. It makes us uneasy inside. It makes us to begin to lose hope because we start to think, man, nothing's going to ever happen. But let me say this, that the Bible does say, but when the desire cometh, it is a tree of life. And here's what. The word of God is trying to say that there are things in life that you will hope for. And there are things that will take a long time for things to come through, for, for things to show its face, for the positive out of it to come out of it. But when the hope shows its face, you then are so blessed that you are able to enjoy it um, more than you've ever been able to enjoy it before. But you will feel accomplished. You will feel like... Man, that was worth the wait. And I know that COVID has deferred a lot of hope for some, but let me tell you something. There's one person that God, that there's one person that COVID could never defer the hope from, and that's the Lord Jesus Christ. And because you're saved and because you're a Christian out there, you have the Lord Jesus Christ in your heart and you have the hope of his return one day. That hope can never be deferred. There's no virus on this earth. There's nothing in this world they could ever defer the hope of the Lord Jesus Christ. He's going to come back one day. And let me say to you, Christian, that when he comes back one day, man, it'll be such a blessing. You'll be overjoyed and you'll feel this accomplishment for having waited on the Savior 
to be able to see the Savior one day and to be excited about being able to be with your Savior. What a hope we have in Jesus. I want you to continue to keep the hope. Keep the hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. Keep the Lord, the hope in the, all the things that the Lord can do for us. And remember that COVID doesn't have to defer any hope because we put our hope in the Lord. Not in material things, not in physical things, not even in health, but in Jesus, in God himself. And I'm so thankful for the hope of Jesus. I pray that you have a blessed and wonderful day today. Keep your eyes focused on Jesus because he is the hope. The hope for all the world. Can I tell you, friend, if you're not saved this morning, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, then can I say that I'm I, I, and I'm just going to be frank with you? You have no hope in the afterlife. You have no hope in what's going to happen to you after you die. But let me tell you, and let me encourage you, that you can put your trust and hope in the Lord Jesus. If you'll just say this prayer after me, if you'll accept Christ as your personal Savior, and you say this prayer and mean it with your heart, then the Bible says that you'll be saved, and then you'll be looking for that blessed hope, the blessed hope of Jesus coming back to take you to heaven when you die. Here's the prayer. If you'll just close your eyes and repeat this prayer after me. Dear Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner. I know that you died on the cross to pay for my sins. I accept your payment on the cross for my sins. Forgive me of my sins. Please come into my life and be my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. It's that simple, friend. If you've prayed that prayer and you've accepted Christ as your Savior, then let me encourage you. Comment below. Just comment, I got saved. I accepted Christ as my Savior in that prayer. So that we can rejoice with you, so that we can pray for you. If you have a prayer request, make sure you comment that in the prayer request uh, in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, CBBC Albuquerque, or like and share us on our Facebook page, Community BB Church. Man, it's been a wonderful morning. I'm so glad I was able to share with you. Keep the hope alive because the hope is in the Lord, not the hope in what we have or the hope in the things that we look to do, but in the Lord Jesus Christ and Him alone. I hope you have a wonderful, incredible weekend. Have a great day. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Can't wait for church. Church time tomorrow. No matter what happens, we're going to serve the Lord. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you. Have a great day.